en Misión Posible, analizando este artículo de la guía para reclutar en tiempos buenos y malos. Es uh, un artículo que nos dice que los desafíos son ver en momentos de recesión cuál es la clave para ese reclutamiento. Y ellos lo que dicen es que hay siete pasos importantes. Uno, como es obvio, anticipar la necesidad, especificar la posición, eh, desarrollar la reserva de candidatos, esto a mi criterio es algo que no necesariamente muchos lo hacen, evaluarlo, cerrar el trato, acompañarlo eh, a posteriori una vez que ingresa a la organización y asegurarse que hay una adecuación de este candidato a la posición. Eh, estamos conversando con los dos ingenieros eh, y Rafael, ¿cuál es eh, la, el punto básico para asegurar la misma calidad en toda la red cuando viene una compañía a solicitarles a ustedes en Chile un trabajo en Argentina o un trabajo en Alemania o un trabajo en la Comunidad Económica Europea o en India o en China, digamos, en los distintos países que ustedes están? Bueno, en primer lugar es necesario contar con una red de profesionales que de una alta integridad profesional y que sean muy conocedores de su industria respectiva, eh, en síntesis profesionales muy capacitados para desarrollar los procesos de búsqueda. Pero adicionalmente a esto que diría que es común en cualquier industria, en nuestro caso se agrega una, la capacidad de entender las diferencias culturales, como las que se refería Franca en su momento, eh, de entender que en los diferentes países hay culturas eh, diferentes también y por lo tanto eh, poder encontrar en las personas que uno está buscando eh, la adaptabilidad a esa cultura en particular. Y eso requiere de un flujo de información muy fluido entre los, los miembros de esta organización, que es lo que nosotros tenemos en Penrin. De hecho, esta, esta semana estamos acá en Buenos Aires, justamente intercambiando, entre otros, este tipo de experiencias y de necesidades. De entre, entre comunicación nosotros. Comunicación permanente de intercambio de valores, intercambio de eh, know-how. Exactamente. Sí. If we, are, if we talk about Uh, closing the deal yeah. with the candidate. Is there any difference between a crisis or a recession period and a normal, whatever it means, yeah. in economy? Yeah, I think we, we have to recognize that there's a big difference, and not only in Germany, but also in, throughout Europe. Um, the candidates are getting more and more risk averse. That means uh, they are following your call, They are in the process, uh, we interviewing them, we double checking them, we reference them, we present them to the clients. At the very end, and this is was uh, something also new for me after this uh, more than 20 years of experience, uh, we lost candidates at the very, very final stage uh, because they uh, made a decision in the families not to follow, not to, not to close the deal because uh, they had to change uh, location, they, they of course had to go for a risk. And in the crisis, of course, why should they? And this, this is something which was in this amount new for us as well. So um, this is a very high percentage, this is a remarkable percentage, where we, ha where we had to restart again the process. Of course, we lost after some weeks of processing uh, the candidate in the very, f uh, very last moment, of course, so more or less two seconds before 12. What did you learn or what is... Uh What things do you bring to your job as chairman of Penrin and CEO of Lab and Company, your company, uh, from your past or previous experience as CEO in technology and in other companies, and also from uh, the arm, the German army? Yeah, I think very important is that we have to uh, to emphasize in uh, in communication. Uh, and that's why, of course, uh, we, we meet regularly and we should even do more than that. So we have to learn from each other. We have uh, to explain market conditions. We have to also elaborate uh, new markets also for us as a consultant. So, for example, uh, one aspect when we meet this, this, uh, these days in Buenos Aires, 
is uh, how uh, will South America do in renewable energy, which of course is a very, very important topic at this moment. All the world leaders are meeting in Copenhagen these days. I was invited to be there. Uh, you are very unlucky not to be there. It would be very interesting, I guess. So uh, there, of course, uh, all, the, all the people are looking to Copenhagen, what, what happens there. And of course, we as a consultants have to follow. So for example, Europe is a leading part of the world in that, especially Germany with our Madam Chancellor, as you know. And the Americans are following quite, quite, quite heavy now under President Obama. The Chinese are doing quite well. You wouldn't believe that. So they have uh, not I do believe. I've been in China a month, okay. and I love it. Yeah, so I was in Shanghai. State of the art. Eh? Absolutely. I was in Shanghai two weeks ago, and I can fully support you. There's, there's a lot of, the, um, of progress being there. And of course, now all, all we also have to question ourselves, what happens in South America? We do not hear so much about that. That's what, of course, we have to talk about. That's where we have also to perhaps develop a market, uh, develop market needs, which we didn't in the past. If uh, you have to say at least two challenges for you and Penry uh, for the next future, which ones you can say? Um, work closer together, exchange your uh, experience, uh, the better, uh, the, the, the more often the better. Of course, um, yeah, meet, meet uh, yourself and uh, be prepared for more globalization than in the past. Les agradecemos a ambos y nosotros vamos a más misión posible, pero en la semana que viene, recordando los siete pasos que nos aconsejan los autores, anticipar las necesidades, especificar la posición, desarrollar la reserva de talentos, como bien decía Frank y Rafael, evaluarlo con las distintas metodologías que aseguren el fit, o sea, la adecuación perfecta del candidato y no el mejor candidato, cerrar el trato con la diferenciación que también decía Frank de qué, sucede, qué puede suceder en situación de crisis y qué puede suceder en una situación de contexto habitual, integrar al recién llegado a la compañía y revisar la adecuación luego de un periodo eh, breve de haber ingresado. Nosotros nos vamos a más misión posible en la semana que viene. Muchas gracias.